line must be identified. We need a solution that will meet the power needs of the peninsula and preserve one of the most significant landscapes in the United States. Dominion's proposed transmission line would mar the landscape around Jamestown, Colonial Parkway, and the Captain John Smith Chesapeake National Historic Trail. The Chickahominy Rail would also have unacceptable impacts on historic landscapes and natural resources. We've been presented with two unacceptable alternatives. A technical solution can be found that avoids both of these routes and keeps the lights on. <coughs> the transmission line as proposed by Dominion would forever change the experience of visitors to the historic triangle for the worse. Paddlers on the John Smith Trail would be required to pass under transmission towers almost 300 feet tall. Travelers along the Colonial Parkway would be greeted by a view of transmission towers with blinking red lights. These impacts would be dramatic and permanent. They would be a direct assault on the efforts of generations of Virginians who worked to preserve this river corridor. We've heard from a lot of people tonight expressing a lot of different concerns. We've heard concerns about the need for reliable power, which is real. Also, questions about the degree of the harmful impacts to the cultural and environmental resources along both the James and the Chickahominy. We've had heard concerns about security, concerns about economic impacts, both to the general and to the tourism economy. The good news is that there's a mechanism available under federal law to ensure that all of these competing interests are taken into account. Preparation of an environmental impact study. That study will identify and compare the impacts to various options before a decision is made. This study should have already been started. I ask the Corps to proceed to prepare the EIS immediately, and I call on Dominion to do the right thing, go back to the drawing board, and help find a solution that meets the peninsula's power needs and saves the James River for future generations. Thank you.